Imagine a person trying to mow their lawn with a lawn tractor and the starter won't turn the engine over. Well, I can help you because the starter on my 1962 Cub Cadet is not turning over the engine. Today, I will teach you how to start the lawn tractor without a working starter. You will learn what safety precautions you need to do how to put a, a string on a pull start that is already implemented in a 1962 Cub Cadet original and you'll learn how to start it with a pull start. The first thing that you need to do before starting a 1962 Cub Cadet is to check the fuel and then make sure that the fuel line is on. <laughs> Wait, are you recording? Mm -hmm. Oh. The f next thing that you do after you took the fuel and the fuel line is make sure that the Gearing lever is in the neutral position. Next, you want to make sure that the throttle is halfway in between the fast and the slow positions. And then you want to pull the choke about halfway out. And then you want to turn the key clockwise. When putting on the Pull start string, you want to make sure that there's a knot on the end and a place for you to grab it on. You always want to put the knot in the notch and just make sure that when you're winding it up, it is tight. And you want to wind it the way that the engine rotates. So that when you pull it, Instead of, if you have it the wrong way around, it won't start, but if you pull it the right way around, it will start. You want to keep winding it, but you want to make sure that it stays tight. You always want a hand hold on the... Uh, handle. When pulling it, you want to always keep the rope in between your ring finger and your in the uh, middle finger, so that you have the most pull. Then you want to grab both with either both hands if you're not strong enough, or you can just hold it up here. And then you just want to give it a pull. And it doesn't always start the first time. So most of the time you're going to have to rewind it up. If I have to say this is one of the harder parts about doing it is actually winding it up. Well, right, winding it back up after you failed to start the first time. Some people can get it started the first time, some people can get it started the hundredth time. This matter is on who it is. Here we go. Always want to keep the rope tight.
after a while the engine will start to heat up and if it does start to uh, pop like it did when I at the end of when I last pulled it that is when it is starting to heat up on the inside to start the engine that's when you don't pull it the whole time and keep it tight it hurts when you don't uh, pull it right well wrap it around right you always want to make sure it's tight it's not tight then you want the same issue that I had In close. you start it you want to turn off the choke slowly and then let it sit for a little bit and let the engine heat up after it sits for a little bit while it's running you can slowly start decreasing the throttle when you have to when you successfully start it pretty much you're done and then you can use it I'll show you right here that it works. You also want to make sure the hook closes. Put down the clutch. And when you have it here, you'll lose that off. 